all or nothing. If you love me for what you say, only your eyes would be in love with me. If you love me for what you've heard, then you would love me for my words. If you love my heart and mind, then you would love me for all that I'm. But if you don't love my every flaw, then you mustn't love me, not at all. I think, you know, the life of a creative is a very, very difficult one. Um, I think that there were many times when I, I did feel like I'd failed and I did want to give up. Um, but I think it has worked to my advantage because I think every step of the way, you know, everything that I've done um, has really prepared me for what's going on now. And it wasn't easy. Um, I've basically lived like a student all my life, you know. I've never had much and I've learned to sort of live with, not with much. And um, I think that's a really great sort of grounding you know, process and if I'd achieved success, or well, this kind of success anyway, at an early age, I think I would have coped with it um, not, not as well. Lost and found. A sunken chest on the ocean ground to never be found was where he found me. There he stirred my every thought, my every word, so gently, so profoundly. Now I'm kept from dreams I dreamt when once I slept so soundly. I think the best editor is time. Um, you know, time allows you to, to have that perspective to look back and say, oh, actually, you know, I, that wasn't written, um, you know, the best way it could have been. Um, you can go in and edit it. And, um, you know, as, as you sort of grow as a writer as well, you know, that takes time. Art and books. Without a doubt, I must read all the books I've read about, see the artworks hung on books that I have only seen in books. I really love things that are tactile. The thing about, you know, having the pages is, is the texture of paper. There's something, you know, really beautiful about it. The, you know, the act of like flipping through the pages. I don't think anything beats, you know, the, just the feel of paper and the smell of books. And there's, books are just, um, you know, they're an art piece on their own. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, they're almost like sculptures and in a way they're almost alive, like living and breathing and, and there are like stories in there and it's just a beautiful thing and something that I've always been in love with. His cause and effect. He makes me turn, he makes me toss. His words mean mine are at a loss. He makes me blush. He makes me want to brush and gloss. My friends and I started being interested in boys and, you know, um, yeah, so, so it, it was, we were going through all these like, emotions and things. And I think a lot of teenage girls write poetry. <laughs> I just never stop. Um, you know, I think with poetry, um, you, are, you can become, the reader becomes the protagonist. They can project themselves into the book and um, you know, make it personal to them. I think I just write from my heart and um, I believe that there is a purity in that. And um, for me, if my poetry can um, get other people you know, to inspire other people to write and to remember who they are through their words. I think that's a really beautiful thing. And um, if I can achieve that, you know, in just one person, I think, you know, that, that's, yeah, that's wonderful.